Today we'll be cooking with Eggo waffles for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. Hmm, that's strange. The lights. I, I don't even know where to start. What does it mean? I wish I knew. So let's get started with breakfast. We're gonna do two recipes, an Eggo egg bake, as well as some Eggo churros. First off, let's make some bacon. I'm gonna use a wire rack. Now we just stick this in the oven for like 18 minutes. Slice up some green onion. And in a bowl. Nine eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two cups of milk. One, two. One tablespoon of spicy brown mustard. One teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of paprika. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna need some cooking spray. Now we set a layer of half of the waffles that we have. Three quarters of a cup of sharp cheddar. One, two, three. Three slices of the bacon. And half of our green onions. And then we do it again. Now we pour this egg mixture inside. Cover and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Hmm, what should we do during that time? Gatsby, Lego my Eggo. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Stick this in the oven for 45 minutes. And while we wait, we might as well start on the next recipe, Eggo Churros. Melt some butter on a pan. Pope style is my personal favorite style of Eggo waffles. Toast them on the lowest setting. Take some sugar, some cinnamon. Cinnamon sugar goodness. We just take the Eggo, dip it in the butter, and dip it in the cinnamon sugar. See if this even tastes like churros since it's not fried. I used to have churros in the employee lounge where I used to work. I ate so many churros and I love churros so much. It's good. Cinnamon sugar goodness. And putting it with an Eggo waffle, like who would have known? I wouldn't say it tastes like a churro, but it tastes super good. In terms of nutrition, I think this would receive a zero. However, in terms of deliciousness, out of 10, I would give this a nine. Now let's check on the Eggo egg bake. Whoa. Okay, the first thing I immediately taste is the mustard, which I'm not like a big fan of mustard. I feel like I'm eating kind of some kind of like fast food thing. There's so many flavors in this. Really soggy. I'm not a fan of soggy things. Stranger things maybe, but not soggy things. Oh. <laughs> Gatsby doesn't like soggy things either. Also, this was a lot of work to make and it really like, I would give this like, a three. Anyway, stay tuned because we still have two recipes for lunch, two recipes for dinner, and a dessert coming up. Let's start the vlog. Hey Gatsby, hey Gatsby, do you like trap music? I'm doing another batch of signed calendars right now in order to get ready 
for Black Friday. Woo! So after the vlog is done, make sure to go to CorgiOnFleek.com and check out all the Black Friday deals that we have going on. I'm creating a few different Black Friday deals so you can take your pick. If you want to buy Corgi on Fleek presents for your family or friends, there's a deal for that. And all calendar orders will also receive the exclusive Gatsby Corgi on Fleek sticker that can't be bought while supplies last. And speaking about the calendar, I thought I would reveal the next picture in the calendar. Here it is. Look at how dapper Gatsby looks. This was taken at the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. I wanted a picture that would evoke the feeling of the meme from the Great Gatsby movie. I think it turned out really nice. Make sure to grab stuff for you, as well as gifts for all of your friends and family. Let's continue on with the vlog. Now it's lunch time! So for lunch today, we are going to be making two kinds of Eggo waffle sandwiches, a Monte Cristo sandwich, as well as a BLT. Make some more bacon. Let's do a little experiment. This time, let's just lay it on top of the aluminum foil. This way involves just sticking it cold inside of the set oven. Set it to 400 degrees. And set the timer to 17 minutes. First, let's add four cloves of minced garlic, one cup of chopped fresh basil, some fresh chopped dill, and one cup of mayonnaise. And we mix. Set this aside for later. A slice of tomato. Double toast some waffles. Ooh, fair to sleep. Put on some of the mayonnaise. Add some lettuce, tomato, and let's do some bacon. Ooh. This mayonnaise is actually really good. Since the herbs are so fresh, it tastes super good. Eggo adds like a slight hint of sweetness. For flavor, I would give that a nine out of 10. Monte Cristo time. We'll start off with a toasted Eggo waffle. Add some Swiss cheese, some honey baked ham, and some more cheese. On the other waffle, we're gonna add some raspberry jam. Ooh. Add about a tablespoon of butter. Next, we're gonna whisk together two eggs and a quarter cup of milk. Dredge it inside of our mixture and place it on the stove. And then we're gonna cover it. We wanna let it cook evenly on both sides, just until the cheese melts. We dust it with some powdered sugar. If you're just looking to destroy your body but make it taste worth it, this is it. My gosh, it's so good. Jam with meats. Super good. The Eggo waffles do a really good job at complementing and replacing the bread that it usually comes in. For flavor, I'd have to give this like a nine and a half out of 10. If you want diabetes and clogged arteries, this is the one for you. Gatsby's eating as for me. I'm gonna head off to the gym. See you guys there. Yeah, this is like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, except it's not grassy vine walls. Yes, look, it's all glass here. Look at this door, Sean. This is the Apple Cafe. You should ask them if they serve apples. Yeah. Do you feel like you're in an Apple building? These are the menus. Oh, the menus are on iPads? Look, you can get an Apple Park bag. It comes in a box. $20 for postcards? You can get all these Apple Park shirts. Apple Watch Hermes band, 339. Look at that giant screen there. You can see the pixels. It's not retina. The screen has 3D touch. You should try it. Really? <laughs> you can try out the cover on your phone. Oh, look what's playing here. Virtual reality. See, that's what the campus looks like there. Check out the staircase. A view of the Apple campus. It's right there. Oh, cool. This is the outside. They have the new product, the Apple Air. If you stuck a ball here, I think it would roll all the way downstairs. They had, this is right here just for Justin Bieber, so he won't walk into it. Just like you did in the Apple store. Like how many, like 10 years ago. <laughs> I think I'm slightly underwhelmed just because I didn't really learn anything about the actual campus. Oh, hello Gatsby. Konnichiwa. Namaste. Can you speak proper Corgi? 
Okay, so not much has changed in the aquarium since the last vlog other than the fact that everything has been getting a little bit better. Good thing that it is Black Friday because that is the main time when I buy all my equipment. One of the ballasts went out like at the beginning of this year and I never got around to replacing it. If you notice, the light in the aquarium doesn't look as great as it used to and so I'm looking forward to getting that replaced. Thank you so much for being so patient for the aquarium vlogs. They are coming. Okay, dinner time. For dinner, we're gonna be making some pepperoni pizza egos, as well as a chicken and waffle taco. First, let's get started with the pizza recipe, which comes from the Eggo website. Hopefully it's a lot better than their other recipe that we got today, which was their egg bake, which was kind of like, whoa. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Let's line the bacon sheet. I went and bought some chicken strips. You can also use like the frozen chicken nuggets that you buy at the supermarket. We're gonna stick this in the oven for three minutes, and we're gonna flip it over and cook it for two more minutes. So we're gonna top off the pizza with some pizza sauce, mini pepperoni, as well as some mozzarella cheese. I feel like I'm making like pizza Lunchables. Do you guys remember that? I remember I used to beg my mom for that. The day that I got it, it was like the best day ever. Stick this back inside of the oven for three to four minutes until the cheese bubbles. Eggo pizza is done. Let's move on to the more gourmet chicken and waffle tacos. Leave the Eggo waffle out for a little bit so that they defrost and they're a little bit more pliable. Then use the backside of a cupcake tin so we can get the taco shape. And we stick this inside the oven for five to seven minutes. The recipe suggests that we take some buffalo sauce and mix it with maple syrup. Pretty good. Look at that. We're gonna add some blue cheese. There we go. Looks like junk food. <laughs> it's edible, but it tastes pretty horrible. Eggo waffles is a pizza crust. Not very good. The Eggo waffle taste doesn't match and the consistency is like very mushy. I give that like a four. Now let's try the taco. It's pretty good. Definitely fried chicken with waffles is always really delicious. The sauce actually tastes really good together. It's like sweet and spicy. It tastes really good with the chicken. I give this like a six and a half. Ugh, I'm so egged out. But we still have dessert. Let's get to it right now. We're gonna be making some pumpkin pie ego cupcakes. <gasps> I just bought this Libby's pumpkin pie mix. And all you need to add is condensed milk and two eggs. And beforehand, I defrosted four ego waffles. We need them to fit in the cupcake mold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut around the edges like so. These look like those Chinese egg puddings. Ooh. My mouth is confused. The pumpkin pie part tastes good, and the ego part tastes good. I don't know if it tastes good together though. I don't know. I wouldn't suggest making it this way. I'd rather just eat it the regular way. I give this like a five and a half out of 10. It's just kind of like, What's the point? And so for me, the three best Eggo recipes were the Eggo Churros, the Eggo BLT, and the Eggo Monte Cristo Sandwich. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog, you guys. And if you're in the USA, happy Thanksgiving. To be totally honest, I'm feeling really disgusted from eating so many Eggos. Make sure to check out all the Black Friday deals. Woo! We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night! Share happiness. Let's check out what we got in the Pocky containers here. We can compare it to mine. But which one tastes better? This is super, super crunchy, crispy stuff. And the biscuit cookie is super, super buttery. It tastes really good.